Welcome back in the commercial break. We're watching this video in from Bill Malusian on some migrants that are being dropped off. He has an update for us from San Diego. Bill, what are you seeing? Yeah, Dana, good morning to you. We are in San Isidro, a part of San Diego right now, where hundreds of illegal immigrants have just been mass street released from Border Patrol custody. This bus you see right here is uh, apparently an NGO or volunteer organization bus. They've all just gotten off a Border Patrol bus, two of them actually. They're now waiting to board this bus. I've talked to several of them from Peru, from India, from Colombia. The group from Peru told me they are here to work. They are going to Atlanta in Minneapolis. Let's see if we can talk to some of them real quick. Hola, Espanol. ¿De dónde son? Ecuador. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Nueva York. New York. Going to New York. ¿De dónde son? ¿De dónde son? Costa Rica. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Atlanta. Atlanta. New Jersey. ¿Dónde? New Jersey. New Jersey. ¿A dónde vas en los Estados Unidos? Chicago. Chicago. ¿Y uh, de dónde son? Colombia. Colombia. ¿Quieren trabajar? No. No? Asilo? Sí, yes. They say they want asylum, they don't want to work. ¿De dónde son? Oh, where are you from? Uh, Senegal. Senegal, Africa. Senegal, from Senegal. We saw a lot of Senegalese in uh, Lukeville, Arizona. Where, where in the U.S. do you want to go to? What city? Uh, France. <laughs> France. France. Uh, France, France, speak French. Oh, he says he speaks French. I obviously do not speak French. Um, oh, watch out, Lexi. Uh, hi, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. ¿A dónde vas los Estados Unidos? Uh, New York. New York. Okay. So you get a little flavor right there, guys. They're from all around. They're some going to New York, some going to New Jersey. Uh, we talked to those Peruvian guys. They're going to Atlanta, to Minneapolis. So uh, they have been released from Border Patrol custody. They are now free to travel the country. It appears uh, an NGO group or some sort of volunteer group is now putting them on their own bus and uh, they're going to be going elsewhere. We'll try to talk to that NGO after this live shot if we can, but the reason this is happening, obviously we've had a big surge of illegal crossings here in San Diego sector, which we've been showing all week. The other reason, uh, San Diego County recently spent millions of taxpayer dollars to uh, create a migrant shelter where some of these migrants could stay. That shelter just ran out of money this week. So there's nowhere to put these migrants from Border Patrol custody. You see the results now. These are mass street releases just dropped onto the streets of San Diego. Uh, and now they are getting help from this NGO where they're going to help facilitate their travel and go all across the country. And guys, you just heard it here. They're going all over the place. So you just answered a couple of my questions. I wanted to know what a street release was. I noticed that everybody seems to have an iPhone and that it's fully charged and they're using it. What I am wondering is, with all of this happening in the last two weeks that we've been showing between you and Griff Jenkins, has Governor Gavin Newsom said a word? Not that I'm aware of. I know he's in Washington, D.C. today, but uh, eventually, look, these images are probably going to cause him a little bit of a political issue, right? Look what's happening in Texas. They are fortifying their border with razor wire, with National Guard, with troopers. They're kicking the feds out, and their illegal crossings have fallen off a cliff here. What has happened as a result? A lot of the illegal crossings are now in, a big majority of them are now in California and Arizona. Blue states run by blue governors who really aren't doing any sort of resistance at the state level in terms of trying to stop these illegal crossings. But look, uh, here down in San Diego, uh, the El Cajon mayor is coming down here as well. We've been texting. He's been getting mass releases in his city as mm -hmm. well. Everyone's frustrated that the federal government essentially just says, you deal with it. They dump them in a city and say, good luck, essentially. Incredible. Thank you for the sure reporting, is. Bill. Thank Malusia. you, Bill. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.